Hey everybody, I am Joe Tobias, and a uh, wedding and nonprofit photographer based in Seattle, Washington. I didn't know that a couple weeks back I released a video comparing the Fujifilm uh, Superior 200 film and the Color Plus 200 film when I was in Palm Springs. But those weren't the only photos I took on that trip, and so I thought I would make a complimentary video that kind of showed the other side of the photography and much more like less about the family side, but more about maybe the kind of more artistic side of things. And just because I love shooting in that part of the country because it's so different than like the Northwest where I live, which is super cool. So we're on that trip, we actually brought four cameras, which is a little ridiculous. There was the Olympus uh, Mu, which was mostly used by Erica. So I'm probably not actually gonna talk about that one very much today. Um, my Yashica T4, the Olympus, or no, the Rico Auto Half 2, which is a half frame camera. And then my uh, Mamiya uh, 6MF, right here, which is kind of my big medium format camera that I want, but it's actually not that big. For as far as medium formats go, this is quite small. <clears throat> so obviously we get there, like the first thing I want to do is I want to take photos of the Airbnb and the pool just because we're on vacation. So here's a few photos in here that I just thought um, I really enjoyed. And it's really fun to work with the light and work with the colors. Interesting enough, really difficult to like edit those scans because um, <clears throat> just like the pulling the blues out correctly is interestingly difficult. Um, but one of my favorite things that I like to do when I'm on vacation is to sneak away at sunrise, either whether it's just in the neighborhood I'm in or to go away a little bit further. And actually I got to do both on this trip. So it's early morning, sunrise, and I'm on a little photo walk. Oh man, it's nice. The rest of the so this morning was actually one of my favorite sessions of the whole trip. I was using mostly the Mia 6 and the um, Yashica. And I really think the, the square format of the Mamiya fits that mid-century look really well. Like the square lets all the angles and the lines of all the mid-century modern homes with the palm trees. You just kind of get lost going around and around in, in the square of the frame. And I think it just looks so, so, so beautiful. And the colors turn out really great shooting on Portrait 400 there. Um, I overexposed them just like a little bit, maybe by half a stop to a stop, just to make sure that there's enough detail in the shadows, but trying to make sure that I wouldn't blow out the, the sunrise colors and try to make everything look really really nice. It was honestly one of my favorite sunrises of the year and probably some of my favorite photos I've taken so far this year as well just because everything kind of came together and especially this like purple one. I just love the way that that photo framed out. So I also wanted to give myself the challenge of photographing those homes in the middle of the day, which is when you think about the desert, like you do think about the heat and that middle of the day bright feeling. And so it's just a very different set of photos of a different way to be creating photos. So I went out using uh, some black and white uh, Ilford HP5 and then also Portra, mostly shooting again, mostly with the, the Mamiya. Um, but a little bit with the Yashica as well, trying to find ways to, to, to photograph those. And so in those, it also really shifted the way that I was, I was making the photos. Whereas in the sunrise, it's trying to make sure that you have enough detail in the shadows of the films, that everything looks consistent while balancing out to the highlights just a little bit. It's really with that daytime stuff, it's the exact opposite. And so I'm trying to make sure that I'm not blowing out those highlights so much that I'm but also maintaining some shadow detail. Now it's films, you obviously, you definitely can overexpose it a little bit more and burn in those shadows without blowing those highlights. But as the highlights start to, to compound and to crunch, it just, um, I'm not gonna say they like blow out, but they turn into that like light and airy look. And I like it and I think it looks really good on the black and white photos. But I also wanted to make sure that I did keep some of that sky detail and not just make it be so ethereal that the, the, the setting of the blue sky doesn't come through. So we also went out to Joshua Tree um, for a day and where that was mostly like family time and having fun. And so I was I used the Rico a lot just because this is I was using this camera really primarily just for bright sunny day, fun time, having a blast kind of photography. But I thought this really was really, really interesting because I had this one composition that I really liked and I actually ended up taking it on four different cameras on the Ashika, the Rico, the Mamiya, and then also my iPhone. And so you can see those four photos here as I put them through and how each one of them comes out differently. I think it's it's safe to say that the Mamiya is 
probably the best, which honestly shouldn't really be surprising that um, medium, medium format portrait looks so good. Um, my Rika seems to probably need some lens cleaning, so I have a lot of learning to do on that camera. Um, I did do really like the kind of the balanced look that the, the Sheikah came out with, which um, is in there. Honestly though, the iPhone really kind of don't like it. You, I would have expected the iPhone photo to look way better. And maybe it's just the editing, maybe something just went wrong with that one photo, but I was kind of surprised with how poor that particular photo came out. So we finished the trip with one last sunrise. Alright, so we got a more sunrise photos. Let's try to go out to this old abandoned like swimming pool that's been on my maps for a long time, but it appears to be a construction site and it's gone. So just enjoy the desert. That morning was just too beautiful. I loved seeing the light grow over the mountains and to see those blues turn to gold and back to that dusty blue. Um, I started with uh, Portrait 400 and then Mamiya, and then also shot a roll of Fuji Chrome, Chrome like 100 slide film, um, which is super cool to experiment with. I don't shoot a lot of uh, slide film, mostly because uh, it's a different set of processes and I have self-developed it once, but it kind of only turned out okay. And it's, you know, I don't like to pay for a lot of developing. So in all, I just don't shoot it very often. But I also don't, and there's something about it that it just seems like too real. And maybe, I, I don't know, I, I like like the stylizedness that most other photography creates. And that just kind of feels too much just like, I was just there and I just am showing you what it is, which is great, but it's just not what I was going for. So I don't know, it's just where my photographic journey is right now. So after that, we headed home and right after that, the quarantine started. And so we haven't really left since then. But I don't think Lena, this is the airplane bathrooms. Mm -hmm.